Look, I'm starting this video off like this because I got tired of trying to wait for the right thing, wait for the right equipment, wait for the right timing, wait for the right setup. You know what? I'm just about to start talking my mind about different issues that are going on that are facing the United States, facing people, facing just whatever. Today's topic is going to be about, and I look crazy, I look real crazy. Today's topic is going to be about Venezuela. Now, a lot of people don't really know much about Venezuela. Some people do. How much you know is depends on how much you've looked into it, besides just knowing where it is on the map and that people there speak Spanish. Um, there's a full history behind Venezuela. So I'm not going to go into the backstory of Hugo Chavez, which was the last leader who passed not that long ago. Uh, but we're going to start in the current situation. So right now, the U.S., the United States, the news will tell you a lot of the things that you need to know. You just a lot of times have to put the stuff together of what they're telling you. So what they're a lot of times telling you right now is that the country is in shambles. There's rampant hunger. There's violence. There's uh, low unemployment rates. There's superinflation. And all of these things that they're telling you that's going on in the country, but they're not telling you why. I mean, when they tell you why, they just say it's because the current leader just doesn't know what he's doing. That doesn't really give you any information about what actually happened. You know, if you're wanting to know information about what's going on in this world, you're going to have to dig and find. You cannot listen to these same videos and everything else that are out there that are you know the main news streams that are out there you can't just listen to them you got to you can listen to them but you got to take in more information in order for me to figure out what was going on my thing was i wanted to hear the words directly from maduro maduro, maduro. it's hard to pronounce uh i wanted to hear i always want to hear the words directly from the leaders as well as from the people not always from the journalist okay if you're if you're only getting the most of the story from the words of the journalist or the person who did the documentary or whatever then you're not getting all of the story you're getting a person's take on the story that they uh investigated within their own particular um means or or reason for whatever reason they decided to do it so you know i decided to look up some information about maduro and see exactly what he had to say what was causing the issues and the government I mean, you know that that's that's happening within that country and then when you look at it it's the same shit that goes on in every other country you got harsh sanctions and embargoes you know what i'm saying place on the country and and that's not just him saying it you know he says it, and then the mainstream news says that the United States and the, and the allies are doing that. They're saying that they're doing it for a particular purpose. Now, their particular purpose is saying that they're doing it because, oh, yeah, we're placing um, these things because he's not the legitimate president. Uh, he's an illegitimate president, not elected by the people in a democratic type of election. So us and our allies are going to stop fucking with them. We're not going to buy their oil or going to buy it at whatever price. We're not going to sell them stuff. We're not going to uh, give them whatever. Whatever whatever kind of imports that were coming in from certain countries that the country and the people had got reliant upon, medicines, uh, formula for babies, diapers, whatever, any of that shit that's coming in, they get to cut it off. And when you cut stuff like that off, that's not hurting the regime. That's not hurting the the whatever. That's hurting the lower class and middle class people. And when you're hurting the lower class and middle class people, that's going to obviously cause an uproar. That's the bulk of the people. Those are going to that's going to usually cause some uh, refugee crisis. You know, what I'm saying people are going to start moving around saying, you know what, I'm going to just leave and come back whenever it's. 
uh, better. Oh, now look at their people. Their people's leaving. Their people's leaving. Oh, there must be something wrong with the leader. You know what I mean? They use, they wait for that time. They wait for some of the stores to get empty and they want to go there and show those few stores that are empty. There was this one guy, he was talking about, it was on CNN. I'm going to have to double check the name, but he just did a recent um, undercover story uh in venezuela where he was some white british dude super old super gray haired wearing a expensive white shirt button up talking about he's going undercover in venezuela first of all you ain't mexican or i mean hispanic you're not you're not how are you undercover everybody can tell you a white dude and you got the the most uh the most crazy british accent there is so you're not undercover okay then he spends the whole time giving his take on what he sees. Sees two kids with, like, plastic utensils, you know, kind of poking at each other, playing fun. He was like, this isn't fun and games. This is practice for what happens at night and protection. I'm just like... And then he finds a couple of people digging around in the trash, you know what I mean? And then he goes to a couple of family members here and there... Instead of letting him talk much, he's doing most of the talking. But when when you at the end of the thing, you really take back the information that he really didn't tell you anything. He really tried to place this idea of how shitty it is over there. But it's shitty areas everywhere you go. If you wanted to go to the shittiest part of Dallas, Texas right now and get video of all the homeless people fucking chilling and, and and eating out of trash cans under a bridge. Does that tell the whole story of Dallas, Texas? You know what I mean? Does that tell the whole story of what's going on? You know, so there is also many other things. So Democracy Now! also, I'm going to get off of that. Democracy Now! also has a video clip uh, interview of a guy that uh, is very close to Hugo Chavez. I think Hugo Chavez is stepson. And uh, definitely uh, within the leadership of, of Maduro. And he was talking about, like, he showed, like, one of the pictures that, because right now the the, the, the military of Venezuela is back in Maduro, and, and so is most of the people. And so he, uh, Marco Rubio shows a fake-ass picture, shares a fake-ass picture of a bunch of military soldiers um, showing, like, they was uh, given... Uh, support for Guado, Guido, Guad, Guanjo, or whatever that fuck, fucking name is of that dude that's trying to take Maduro's spot, man. Um, basically, um, the military has been in support of only Maduro, but now they're trying to feed pictures to us here in the U.S. Look, look at these military people over there supporting our guy they want to come after our guy you know what i mean fuck that you know what i mean like you got to really pay attention first of all the dude from a democracy now said those were peruvian uh military officers and if they're showing you know what i'm saying they're, they're not even from venezuela so it's not even the venezuelan military that's giving support to this guido guado dude or whatever his name guanjo or whatever his name is you know what I mean? So, again, it, it it goes to show the propaganda so that the United States is willing to put out. They're willing to put out stories from issues that they cause with their own sanctions and embargoes. And then they're willing to put out stories that are fake like that and some other stories. The, the amount of refugees that they said are coming. They said about three million people are le leaving uh, Venezuela and like this guy said well a lot of those people that are leaving Venezuela aren't even from Venezuela some of them like a million of them are like Colombians and another 200 300,000 of them are from Peru and you know surrounding areas so some of them are leaving and will probably come back and he would hope they would come back he said some of them of course are Venezuelans because they're trying to figure out other ways around the situation that they have because there is some dire situations that are no low food sh food shortages and stuff like this and it's so sad because these people been through this before Hugo Chavez had pulled them out of a really bad situation uh but the United States states kept fucking with them uh, but they've gotten you know definite backing and help from people like Russia and 
uh, Cuba and others that are usually vilified by the United States as well. And, you know, then when, when they start getting help from those people, then the United States want to use that against them. Oh, look at them. They're getting help from the Russians. Oh, uh, uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they're getting help from Cuba. Oh, they what are they doing? You know, we don't like Cuba. Cuba doesn't like us. They hate America. So, you know, it's 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 all about a propagandist picture painting fucking corral that these people be putting on, man, that you really got to pay attention to. Really got to pay attention to. So, um I'm not I know I may have said quite a bit you know, but the main thing you need to take from this is the United States is trying to force a regime change, a, a, a political political party chain, basically, within a different country. Uh, and, 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 they're, and they're wanting to send aid now. They're wanting to send food and medicine aid under the name of that Guido fuckhead. You know what I'm saying? They want to send some some aid to the country and that's just more propaganda like hey nicolas maduro needs to open up and let the aid in for the people otherwise what is he doing to his people and it's, and it's just like wait a minute y'all cause this shit and then y'all gonna y'all gonna cause this shit and then send the aid in the name of the other person to make people believe oh he's the guy he's the guy that's trying to make it better he's the guy that you know brought upon the the food who who helped the starving people. They wouldn't starve, bitch, if you would take your embargoes and sanctions off their shit and quit fucking with them. They wouldn't starve. That's what's fucked up. The United States will starve out kids, babies, formula. You can't get baby formula and diapers and other shit under some of these things, man. And so, like, these are the things that the United States and tactics they're willing to do, and they admit it on the on TV and news channels. All the time, and unless you're paying attention and, and can put the two and two together, it might just go over your head, and you know, and you just got to understand. And when you when when I listen to Maduro talk, that's exactly what he said. He said it's because of the embargoes and the sanctions that these particular things started to happen, and so we have a lot of sectors that need a lot of help, and we're doing the best that we can to try to normalize things and get things back to a particular state. But at the same time, that's going to cost money. Oh, and and it's going to cost money. And most of their gold assets are over in the UK, like most countries, over there somewhere in Europe. They put their gold assets and stuff like that within the World Bank. And the World Bank has decided to freeze their assets. They tried to pull out uh, several billion dollars in gold. Uh, and and they wouldn't let, they're not letting them do that. That was just recently. They're trying to put out the gold. So, um, again, fuck it with them. Fuck it with them. So now you, you now you gonna inflate the you gonna inflate the bullshit money that y'all gave them the paper money, inflate it to where they can't purchase shit, and then turn around and freeze their gold that's theirs, and then not allow them to sell oil to you or your allies and and other things and exports. So now they can't make any money, and then you want to say. Oh, that government leader's over there fucking the people up. Oh, yeah, it's the government leader that's fucking them up, all right, you assholes. It's the government leader that's doing that shit. I wish people would pay more attention. I wish people would understand. Do your research. Pay. It, it really didn't take me long. I mean, literally, I typed in Venezuela, and I knew what I was looking for, so that's why it don't take me long. I knew I just wanted to listen to some interviews of Maduro and get some understanding of the words. And then I started finding things from Democracy Now! and PBS. There's some of the one few, and, and RT, uh, Russia Today. Uh, there's some of the few fucking places to really get some good information that's decently transparent and not so damn one-sided, man. So, And all I had to do was just type in Venezuela, crisis. Let's fucking go down and look for something that wasn't two minutes. Look for something that's 20 minutes. Look for something that's 30 minutes. Look for something that's an hour. Look for something that's two hours. Get off these fucking news clips. Get off these fucking sound bites. We as a people got to start being lazy as fuck and start paying attention, man. Start doing more. When there's a whole fucking interview, watch the whole fucking interview. And when there's an interview and they speak about some shit and you're not sure about it, look up some extra shit. See what else everybody else got to say about it. 
get a well-rounded idea of what everybody is saying. I also listen to Fox News and, and CBS and CNBC and all these other motherfuckers, too. I also listen to them, and most of them motherfuckers are saying the same fuck shit. All they keep saying is they're starving the people. It's an illegitimate government. He was not fully elected by the people, which he was. Um, it's a horrible regime that is causing such whatever uh, mismanagement of the of the tax money and blah blah blah. You know, what I'm saying a bunch of fuck shit. And when you hear the same shit repeated over and over through different outlets, that's another reason why you know they're trying to be propagandist. Uh, they're doing propagandist uh, brainwashing through the media like you know i mean come on i mean like yeah i mean sometimes you can say well if they're all saying the same thing must be true well you just gotta look around you know what i mean there's most of these stations are owned by you know, like a few different corporations you know what i'm saying so you just gotta look around you just gotta be more diligent at this shit people otherwise other people's lives are at stake so, I'm going to do more videos like this, not really giving a fuck about what I look like, doing it straight off the cell phone, not even looking at the lens like I should be, and probably annoying people, but it's about getting the knowledge and information out. Go look up documentaries by John Pilger about Venezuela and Hugo Chavez. Look up many things about the Hugo Chavez military coup. C-O-O-P is how you spell coup. Look up the military coup from Venezuela last time. They lied last time when Hugo Chavez was in office. They actually sent and took him out of office, a whole people and a fake-ass army. And, and they went up there, took him out, had him up in a building for some time or whatever. They pretty much took over their little capital building until the people came marching down the streets, forcing him to fucking them to let uh, Hugo Chavez go. And the United States was found guilty pretty much of, um, they were showing video and, and, and giving off fake information back then. They was giving off fake information about who shot at the protest first or whatever, something like that before that information had even been put out there. So that lets you knew. And then it was wrong on top of that. They were lying. It was, there was more video that came out that showed the uh, shots came the other way, and the video they were showing was manipulated, or at least not really manipulated, like they were giving a different, um, giving a different statement on the video and not showing all the information. Basically, the, other the fake government that they was trying to instill basically shot at some of the protesters first, and they tried to blame it on Hugo Chavez's people. Oh, look at him. He's shooting at protesters. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's a horrible uh, leader. And it was the other people shooting first, man. So uh, do, your, do your research, man. And then once you know that, then you know you can't trust them in this country and what they're, whatever they're trying to put out. So it's going to make you look a little bit further into anything that they say. Anything that they say. So, again, just be more diligent and looking up shit. It's all there on YouTube. Everybody puts their shit on there. All the major networks, all the major, you know what I'm saying, independents. Everybody's on there. You just got to sift through the shit. Take your time.